Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. If you're new to MyKeep and you want to learn how to make a server on MyKeep, this is the tutorial for you. However, if you have used MyKeep before, this may not be the one for you, but we'll see. Uh, and this tutorial will also cover how to whitelist in MyKeep. So, let's get started. First things first, you go to myheap.net and now once you're on this page go to create a server continue with google or continue with github whichever one that suits you and now you're on you were wrong to this page server details and now name your server whatever And now select any version that you want. It goes up. It goes down to 1.8. For this tutorial, I'm using 1.21.4. I'm gonna be selecting paper, but you can select paper or select fabric, whichever one you want to use. And now onto server visibility. For this tutorial, we will be using private. However, if you want to make a public server, you press public and beware, there will be, there will be people out there that will break a bunch of rules that you have set. So, in my next tutorial, which may be later on, I will make a, you got a tutorial how, tutorial how to make, set up the right plugins for your server. But right now, we will be using private for... Um, for making whitelist. Now, to uh, we will be using free plan for this one, but we you can use empire, nation, city, villager, or free. We will be using free. Continue. And now this is kind of neat. Serve serve summary. It tells us our server what type of server and the version and it tells us what we get in the free plan and it's also hidden from the my keep lobby now I'll press create server and now you'll be taken to this page server credit your micro server is now ready to use and you know what's cool about this you can also join your server on the hub play.mykeep.net by running slash join the server name. I think this is an awesome feature. I will be showcasing how to do it from the lobby as well. And now, once you're in, this is Java Edition. This is the IP. Import. Go ahead and copy this. And this, or whichever one that you use. And if you're on Bedrock, this is a port for you. All right, with the same IP. Now go to server panel. I. Now type on, uh, click on start. And now, once it once it says this right here, that means your server has started and it's ready to be used. Now, for whitelist on how do we add it, we type this simple command: whitelist on. This is to enable enable it. Now we do whitelist again, add, and then your username. Minus Rusty is here. Press enter. And now, I have been whitelisted. This will work for anybody. I'm not, I'm not completely sure about Bedrock. I may do a separate video on Bedrock later on. But for right now, I'm covering Java. 
it will work the same as Bedrock, but maybe not Whitelist. And now, once you're in the panel, you can either go to Files. This is what the files look like. You can add plugins. You can re redo your world. You can basically do anything in this file manager. You, there's also a clever button where when you press this, it will turn your server into a zip file and you will get everything in your server directory. It's pretty good feature to have when you need to back up your server. I wish all hosts had this, but this is very life-saving. See, it's done. And now, we'll go back to the main page area. You got settings, which you can add anything to it. And if you want to turn this off of part mode, just press on that. And, and if you need to upgrade later on, you go to upgrade. Pretty neat. Now you may be wondering how to connect to how to actually connect to the server. Remember, remember the uh, IP that I said for you guys to copy. Uh, now go back to Minecraft. Go right here. Name whatever you want. Press in, and then copy and paste your IP into the server address. Press done. Your server's now started up. And now you can press this. And there we have it. This is how you can make a server on my keep update. This is this has been updated. Uh, I'm planning to make a lot more about this. It is this feature is pretty good. Um, and I'm planning to actually make server sort of setups for my keep, like how well it would run on free plans. I am planning to start doing that since I know script, a little bit of script. I I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. I I know it's a little wonky right now. I am still trying to get used to making content stuff. But I hope this actually helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I actually do respond to them. I actually do look it over every single day. So hope you enjoyed today's video. And goodbye. <laughs>